Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and it's time for the weekly pop culture wrap-up. That's right, everybody. It's the weekly pop culture wrap-up. It's the show where I go over the week's pop culture news, mostly comic books and movies. Let's get right into it with some comic book news. Dead Man Logan. So those of us who have been reading Old Man Logan of late from writer Ed Brisson, we know that they've kind of been building up to the death of Old Man Logan. That's going to be executed here in the 12-part series Dead Man Logan by Ed Brisson with artwork by Mike Henderson. It's also going to have covers by Declan Shalvey. That looks really, really cool. <clears throat> it seems like 12 issues is kind of excessive for this to happen. It seems like this is something that they could kind of wrap up in like four to six issues, possibly. I mean, The Death of Wolverine was only four issues. That probably should have been 12. Anyway, I've really been liking what Ed Brisson's been doing with the character of Old Man Logan. So if he needs 12 issues to tell this story, and in an interview he said, there's a lot of things left to do. Do you think that he's going to leave Mysterio off his checklist before he goes? Been loving the character work that Brisson's been doing over in Old Man Logan. So if it takes 12 issues to kill him off in Dead Man Logan, I'm down for that. Especially with Declan doing the covers, that's going to be extraordinary. So upcoming in Justice League, after the totality story wraps up in a, a, a one-shot issue here and there, there's going to be doing a Justice League Aquaman crossover called Drowned Earth. Well, of course this makes sense because there's a big Aquaman movie coming out in December, so DC's kind of gearing up for that. Scott Snyder, of course, along with writers Dan Abnett, the regular Aquaman uh, writer who's actually going to be on his way off the title during this little thing right here, and writer James Tynion, they're getting together. It's going to be like a one-shot that starts it off. It's going to cross over from Justice League into Aquaman. It's going to end in a one-shot. A highlight of this is going to be some of the artists that are going to be working on it. Fraser Irving, Howard Porter, and Francis Manipool. And the artwork I've seen from Manipool looks glorious right now. I love this cat's work. I'm really excited about this. I'm a big Aquaman fan, so it's going to be super cool to see a big, once again, just like Throne of Atlantis, a Justice League story that's Aquaman-centric. And then, of course, we got the movie coming out. So I think it's going to be kind of cool. It may also, there's a lot of rumors that they're going to be changing Aquaman to kind of momoa eyes him up just a little bit. Um, that's possible that it's going to be done in here. I don't know. But the story's called Drowned Earth, and it sounds like it's going to deal with uh, a drowned earth, like a, like a flood on earth, something like that, right? Who knows? We got a new Web of Venom one-shot on the way. First of all, Venom hasn't even hit yet. I've read it, and it's really cool. If you're a fan of what Donny Cates is doing on the title Venom right now, you're going to love that one. And another one that sounds really exciting is Carnage Born. He's going to be doing this one with uh, Danny Lowe's. Bayruth on the artwork. It's going to be written by Donny Cates. Super, super excited. It's going to have a, a cover by Kyle Hotz, which is a nice homage back to the 90s. Warren Ellis, Kyle Hotz book. Um, Venom, I mean, Carnage, Mind Bomb. So that's really, really cool. Cates says this is a big deal. Cates always says that, and usually it turns out to be a big deal, even when it's a character like Jugger Duck or Cosmic Ghost Rider, right? So I'm loving what Cates is doing on Venom right now, so I'm super pumped for this. I'm super pumped to see what he's going to do with Carnage in this supposedly big deal one shot. So that's interesting. Also over at Bolt Comics, you know, we love Bolt Comics here at Pop Culture Philosophers. Um, one of my favorite books from that company, Wasted Space, has been granted um, 20 issues at least. So it's been upgraded from a limited series of five issues all the way up to at least 20. So that's really, really cool. It gives Sherman and uh, Morrissey um, ample room to tell a, a very cool story that they're doing right now. They pitch it kind of like Preacher meets Blade Runner, something like that. It's it's really good book. Great, cool, cutting-edge sci-fi, gritty, grounded, cool, satirical, things like that. If you haven't read Wasted Space, I highly encourage you to check it out. There's a third printing coming out soon, and issue four is on its way very, very soon. Let's move over to some TV news. First of all, there's a new Iron Fist trailer. Um, I'm one of the few people that kind of dig Iron Fist season one. I don't think it's good by any stretch of the imagination, but something about it is kooky enough for me that I, I rather enjoy watching it for some reason. But Season 2 looks really, really cool. I thought the trailer looked nifty. I thought it looked neat. So I think it's neat. Uh, Davos looks like he's going to be an exceptionally badass and menacing villain. Um, I love the little nod to the original um, Iron Fist uh, costume from the comic book, The Mask, you know. So I think that's cool. Like I said, I'm not going to be expecting much because Iron Fist Season 1 is very, very silly. But I rather enjoy it because of its silliness. If that's, if that's crazy. And in the trailer, I did see that Ward was in it. So that's very, very exciting. And a lot of Misty Knight. So then you got the, the Daughters of the Dragon. That's really neat. A Star Wars Resistance trailer. It's a brand new animated series debuting here um, on the Disney Channel in October. 
Um, so they released like a minute long teaser trailer for that. Doesn't really show much. A lot of people seem to be negative about this right here, but I looked at it and I don't really, I'm kind of indifferent to it. It just, I mean, I think the animation kind of looks cool. You know, I like the Clone Wars animation, but I really think that the animation looks cool. The story, I don't know, it really didn't do much for me. It didn't really appeal to me that much. I think a lot of people maybe are not cool with it because it's kind of set in the, in the, in the time of the, the newer trilogy, the newer movies. Um, but I don't know. It's got Poe Dameron in it, so it has enough Poe Dameron in it. I might check it out. But it seems like it's something specifically targeted more towards a very younger audience. You know, like a very like a true kid show. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think I think the animation kind of looks nifty. Um, HBO has greenlit that Watchmen show from Damon Lindelof. Um, I mean, I don't know about this. I really don't. I'm very, very skeptical about this. They promise that it's not an adaptation of The Watchmen. They're not going to tread that story and go over that, but it happened. This is kind of like a remix of it and a story kind of around, like set before and during I mean, and after. And I have no idea. I just, uh, I don't trust HBO with this. I really don't know. I don't know. I have no, I just, I don't know. I'm very, very skeptical. I will say that. But that got greenlit, so that's going to happen. And USA ordered a TV show called Treadstone be based on the Jason Bourne movies. You remember Project Treadstone, all that stuff. I'm a huge fan of Bourne movies. This is going to be done from uh, done by Kim Crane, who was the creator of the Hero Show, a show that started off with a bang and went out with a whole series of whimpers, in my opinion. But I don't know. I love the Bourne movies. Those first three Bourne movies, Legacy, I mean, not Legacy, uh, Ultimatum, Supremacy, and Identity. Um, I, I love those movies. I love them so much. I think they're great high-octane action movies. Um, so I don't know. I guess I could be, I'm excited about this. I like, you know, I like the books and things like that. So I, I think it's kind of cool. So there you go. I don't know. Not expecting too much of it though. It's USA. Do they do good shows? I don't know. I'm kind of out of the TV loop. Anyway, that's what I got for you. That's what we got. So coming up here on Pop Culture Philosophers tomorrow, we got the debut of a brand new movie Monday going through our DC animated rewatch. We're going to be talking about Batman Gotham Knight. It was the series of anime shorts. Um, that kind of bridged Batman Begins with the Dark Knight. So we're going to be talking about that tomorrow in the morning. And then tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock Central Time. Not 7 like usual, but 8 o'clock on Monday evening. We're going to be doing a live stream here. Robbie Rance Live. That's Monday, 8 o'clock Central Time. So be on the lookout for that. Other things more like a weekly comic book review is on the way. Um, a second episode of Robbie's Top 5. Where we'll be talking about my top 5 favorite Batman comics. That's coming out on Thursday. Lots of excitement here at Pop Culture Philosophers. Please do join us over at the PCP Army on Facebook and on Twitter at the PCP Show at the Rock and Robbie. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below any of your thoughts about any of this news that we covered in this video. Thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Keep on keeping on.